love clothing and accessories? Are you creative and artistic with the ability to solve problems? Do you like working under pressure? If all of this describes you, you may want to put a pin in a career as a costume designer. Costume designers plan and create costumes and clothing accessories for theater, dance, opera, television, video, and film productions. We spoke to a costume designer working here in Alberta to follow the threads of this colorful career. Hi, my name is Jamie and I'm a costume designer. A costume designer produces different accessories and clothing to achieve the overall aesthetic for the actors in a production. Costume designers can work in a variety of fields. I personally work in film and television, but you can work in animation and gaming, theater, opera, sometimes even music videos. Your high hip and then your low hip. Typical day for a costume designer working in the film industry can be starting on set, getting the actors dressed and established. Often we'll have fittings throughout the day, pulling together alterations, chatting with the costume cutter, who is the one who makes all the patterns, and setting up the lineup for upcoming episodes. So looking at the different looks for each character, and then kind of overviewing the team, checking in, making sure that all of the wings of the department are running smoothly. The daily duties and tasks for a costume designer really depend on what kind of project you're working on. But some of it includes reading and analyzing scripts, so we'll read through that and flag anything that is costume related. And we'll have a meeting. So that's with the director, the showrunner, sometimes producers, and discuss what their vision is and what they would like to see. I'll shoot an email out as soon as I hear back. From them. Depending on the project, we'll often use illustrations or computer generated renderings. And then we'll go through and make sure that we have all of those pieces. So we start slotting it in, we call it a lineup. Often things need to be purchased or altered, designed and made and built. We often need to make sure that fabrics are not noisy. Materials like rain jackets or sometimes really stiff shirt fabrics can be super noisy for sound. So we need to be really careful of that when we're picking fabrics. We also conduct fittings and attend rehearsals if needed. Costume designers will need a variety of different skills and characteristics, such as creativity and artistic vision. Problem solving skills are great assets. Organization and budgeting skills. They're really long days, so having some endurance and doing very precise work. The working environment in film is very fast paced. You've really gotta be thinking quickly. Quite a physical job. There's lots of uh, moving costumes around. To work as a costume designer in Alberta, it's recommended and really helpful to have a post-secondary education in costume design, apparel technology, or any other related field. In order to get started as a costume designer, you would usually start as a trainee or a costumer and then work your way up. If you want to be a costume designer, I would recommend it because you get to scratch your creative itch. It challenges you every single day, and every day is really different. It's worth looking into all of the different roles within the costume department if clothing and fashion and costumes is something that you're interested in. To have the right material for this career, you should be self-disciplined, organized, and have the patience for precision work. You will need to know a wide range of materials and their properties. If you are flexible and able to improvise, you might be tailor-made for a career as a costume designer. Stitch together the details of this occupation, including training requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the Alice website. While you're there, check out some related occupations, including fashion designer, human ecologist, or interior designer. Explore the possibilities go to alice.alberta.ca.